Hey, RV rookie, how you doing today? All right. I got a little notice that said you started recording. Oh, so I can't record stealth anymore. So if, if, if I say to you something like, don't worry, don't worry, RV rookie, you can say whatever you want. I'm not recording, but then you'll see it's recording. You know that I'm lying, right? Absolutely. I can't, I can't, I can't lie to you. I can't Busted. lie. <laughs> but see, okay, so, but this goes to show um, when we were doing like a little pre-show, just kind of warming our voices up and everything, I swore to you that I was not recording, right? And you, and you, have to t you took me at my word and I was right. I so did, I'm not, I did. I'm not going to mess you up. Don't worry about that. I don't see you, Dave, as being the type of guy that's not a man of his word. Exactly. Exactly right. We'll do that, yeah. So <laughs> um, we won't disclose exactly. I know for, <laughs> I know for, um, for security reasons, I get that now. We're not going to disclose exactly where you are, but you're somewhere in the U.S., right? I definitely am. I surely am, Dave. I'm right here in the United States of America. And you're in your you're in your rig, as I am. All right. We're having we're having like a virtual a virtual happy hour because you know something it's a it's a Saturday afternoon right now. We're both in our rigs. We can't drive anywhere. What better? What is there better to do than have like a virtual happy hour with another RV or an RV rookie? That is. Yes, with a dummy. Rookie and the dummy having happy hour together. Oh. I, I poured myself a little bit of cold sake, um, which I really oh, like. Nice. I really, really like that, by the way. So just have a little, I'm just going to, you know, relax on this as we chat a little bit about RVs and life and stuff like that. Mm. I have my, uh, my white cloth. <laughs> what is it? White cloth. Nice. It's girly. Okay. Yeah. I th yeah I th it's a girly bed. Did you talk about that last time or maybe off air? I can't remember. You might've mentioned that last time too. I can't remember. I, I think I heard that from you or something. What's going on? Is somebody coming into your, is somebody attacking you in your RV? <laughs> what? Is somebody knocking on your door? Um, no, I just looked out my window and my neighbor guy was kind of looking in like I'm like sitting here talking to myself or something. I'm just going to go around the park and tell them all I'm a YouTuber. So you should do that. When I'm, I should because... Yeah. A lot of people look at me weird. I'll leave this window open a lot and I'll, I'll do a video. And I know they're looking at me funny. It's like, oh, I got to go tell them I'm a YouTuber so I don't look like the crazy chihuahua lady. <laughs> so you pause your video. Now you actually keep it right and you say, excuse me, excuse me. I'm a YouTuber. Just hang in there. I'm, I'm, I'm recording right now as we're speaking. Just, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. Hi, Dad. I'm a YouTuber. Well, say, Come on. Rookie, by the way, rookie, I, I've got, I've got. Because well, I mean, it makes me look a little better than somebody sitting here talking to me. <laughs> Just only this much better, probably. So I've got to ask you a question. A little bit. I've got, I've got, I've got, I'm just very curious. Like, why, why in the heck did you get into being a full-time YouTube, full-time, full-time YouTuber, full-time, a full-time RVer? I am that as well. Full-time, you're full, what, what, can you tell me a little bit about what happened in your life that you just said one day, okay, I'm going to, I'm just, forget it. I'm going out on the road. I'm going to, I'm going to get an RV and I'm going to be a, I'm going to be an RV <laughs> full time. Um, it all kind of started with, I, I wanted to live in a tiny house because there's not much to clean and I'm okay with small spaces. I mean, I'm little, my dogs are little. It just, it made more sense to me. And it was, you know, like, Thought about buying land and this and that, but I was like, I didn't want to live in Sarasota. I'm done with Sarasota. I will probably never live there again. I wanted to buy in St. Augustine, but then again, I saw other parts of Florida that I might like. And then I was thinking, well, maybe there's parts of Arizona I might like, or, you know, I don't want to buy land and commit to anything full time until I know what I like. And my original plan was, well, then I started kind of looking on YouTube, kind of exploring and there was one YouTuber that I, I followed religiously until she made it political. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. I, hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Drive you nuts. Not good. Not good. Yeah. Not RV good. world. Yeah. RV world. So um, I started watching it and I started, started seeing all these people who were doing it. And I was like, you know, that's the same as living in a tiny house. And that's something to do for a few years to um, figure out where I want to be, where I really want to be. You know, if I want to buy land or if I want to buy a house, I, I just have to decide where I want to be. And I'm very indecisive. And I thought, well, I better see everything before I decide. 
okay, that's good enough for now. That's good enough for now. But what I was getting at, you didn't take the bait. What I was getting at is everybody's got a story. Like just one day you don't wake up and say, I'm going to, you know, like I wanted to hear like, well, my life was totally screwed up. And <laughs> you know, I don't, I'm not saying yours was, but you know, like Thanks, something, Jay. <laughs> I'm not saying yours was, but, but in other words, everybody's got a story, including me, including me. So. Dave, no. I wasn't insinuating you had a story. I said, but I wanted to go back a little further than oh, I just wanted to buy a tiny house. Like, in, but we'll do that on another show. Maybe it doesn't, it doesn't have to be now. I don't really know. I don't really know your, see, I don't know your backstory. So I don't know if there's a good story, bad story in between. I don't know. I'm trying to I'll get tell it. I'll tell you a backstory. I'll tell you a backstory. I've been single for six years and it's been the most free, loving, peaceful time of my life. And I wouldn't change it for the world. That's what I want to know. Hang on. What I, okay. I'm well, on the road. Well, we're on the road. Now you picked, you picked one of the best times in, in our lives to go out on the road and be a full-time RVer. Good timing. Good timing, RV rookie. One of the best times ever. I mean. FML, Dave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean. You know, I've always done everything the hard way. <laughs> I've always done everything by choice or not. <laughs> so why not this? You know, by the way, um, so forgetting about, you know, I, I know we're going through it. It's, it's, it's a crazy time with the coronavirus and all that stuff. But, but I, saw, I saw one of your videos the other day, and I didn't realize this, but you, like, um, you were, like, going somewhere, leaving somewhere, and, like, you smashed up your RV or something. What happened there? Oh, that was when I boondocked. You boondocked. And what, and what happened, though? I was driving out of the school when I, it happened both times when I was driving into the spot and out of the spot, there were, the trees were so low hanging. And this was like my fourth day of RVing. And I didn't know any better or anything. And I drove through this path that this lady told me to, and it just, it's knowing well, now what I didn't know yeah. then, I would have never even, I would have never even messed with that app or anything i no way i mean are, you, we, okay? are you okay is again your, i learned the hard way <laughs> is, is your rv scuffed up is it okay is it bashed in but how it's bad scuffed is it? up it's scuffed up but my dad dropped off some um stuff to buff it out hopefully buff out the scratches so i'm gonna work on that because sunny's uh, so beautiful i mean she's a 2017 and, and yeah she's definitely she's really beautiful nice yeah. Definitely. So it bothers me. And it, it like tore the lid off my shower and that lid with the sunroof thing. And I'm in North Carolina up on top of my rig with a thing of gorilla tape. And <sighs> good, good times, Dave. Good times. I'm glad you're having fun. I'm I'm just I'm just sitting in my RV outside my house because I'm afraid to go anywhere right now. There's nowhere to go. I'm just I'm just having a party every night in the RV outside the house. Just you know, whoever wants to come can come. Yoko shows up sometimes. Right. I took the rental car back today, so I'm having a cocktail. Oh, good. Because good, where good. am I going to drive? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's happy hour now, so we can, you know, look, what else is there to do sitting in our respective RVs? I'm outside my house. You're in a campground enjoying some cold sake here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Salute, Dave. Salute. 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 Now, I wanted to ask you something else. I saw something about, um, did you have a problem was there a problem leveling your leveling your rig at some point? Like you were so, talking about, I thought you were talking about leveling or something, right? Yeah. What's going yes. on there? What's going on with that? Yes, I was. What's going on with the leveling thing? Well, one campground they put me in a in a unlevel spot, and I didn't know until my cousin got online and says, "Oh, by the way, your fridge could catch fire." <laughs> Good to know. You're so I called up the office. I had him take me to a level spot, or what I thought was it was level enough to where I didn't catch fire for a month. So I come to this place, and of course, that's what I'm looking for, you know. I pick up all this little knowledge, you know, every place I go. So 
I get here and I'm like, I get inside and I'm, I feel the whole thing tilt and I'm like, all right, no way, no way. So I call him up. No answer. I walk up there. I'm on level, yo. Oh, you don't have any leveling blocks? Well, no. I didn't realize that even with a rig my size, and this is what I, I didn't buy leveling blocks for that exact reason is I thought, Sunny's so little, I'm not going to need them. I was. <laughs> But my dad went and got some boards cut and brought them over, and now I'm level and it's totally cool. Have you ever thought about and getting... hopefully the next campground that I go to? Well, first of all, don't get don't ask them to not not to give you the reject the reject spot number one. That's the one that's always not level. Make sure you get like the good spot that's level that's level as possible. But also, do you um have you ever thought about getting the um the automatic leveler, automatic levelers for your rig. Have you thought about that at all? I for, didn't think it was big enough. To for that. class C, oh, you've got a, yours is a twenty-four foot, right? Twenty-four foot class yeah, C. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, you can get that. Really? Oh yeah, definitely. It'll cost oh. you. It'll cost you a little bit, but it'll. But it might be the automatic. So everything leveler. else in RV world. <laughs> As a matter of fact, can I have your credit card right now? I can get you started. Right. <laughs> Let me announce it to the world. <laughs> Guess what, Mirka? And you and you also had a problem with um, you had a problem with like being really cold in your rig the like like at night like you're you're you don't have heat. What's going on with that? I don't know. I turned it on one time. It was low and cold air, and this was my first week out. And I the RV neighbors. I got so lucky my first week out. So the RV neighbors there. I had the dude come in and look. And this was before the coronavirus stuff. Okay. It was even around Florida. Okay. And he came out and looked at me, and I said, why is my heat blowing cold air? And he's like, you don't have a thermostat, or you don't have a heater or something. I was like, okay, lovely. Yeah, there's a little sticker on the outside of my rig that says, this unit has been winterized when I bought the unit in Florida, so I don't get it. Well, that is, the winterizing, so it, with, winterizing it has nothing to do with it. What, you're using <laughs> space heater? Are you using a space heater in there now? I am now, yeah. I mean, oh. I have two, and I really want to hook them both up. When I do that, I just blow fuses left and right. So yeah. So um, but I'm surprised you're um, don't you have like a propane heater like that works through your, the propane heater? Heat I system thought works. so, but dude told me I didn't. And when I tried to turn it on in the little thing over there, it said uh, I mean it 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 actually says thermostat or heater or something like that. Then it comes out cold air. I think I know what that is, though. See, okay, so in my rig, now I've got a Class B, but a lot of them have similar features. Um, in our, like, air conditioning thing, um, air conditioner, one of the options is heat, so you can turn on heat. Now, now we don't have that option on our air conditioner. So in my old rig, I could turn on that, and it would blow heat. It was beautiful. The only way we can do heat now is through our actual, um, I guess it's almost like a, almost like a, furnace in the RV. It's so you turn on the propane and then you turn on the heat. It's a separate heater. It's got nothing to do with the air conditioning unit. Nothing to do with that at all. That will, that will supply heat. Huh. I'm sure you've got to have, some, you have to have something like that. You have to. Hold on. I'll tell you what. Um, we didn't tell the, we didn't tell the viewers. I'm actually right next door to you. I'm going to, let me go. Let me check it out. Hang on. Oh, I didn't see you. I thought you were. I thought you were parked right next to me. I didn't see you there. Sorry, I, I was going to come right over. You're not there. I, I thought you were. I thought you were like right. What's the prognosis? <laughs> prognosis is the patient will. The patient will be okay. The patient. Well, yeah. will. yeah. No, I YouTube the whole thing, and they said it could be like dust or whatever on your heater. And then when I told the neighbor to do that, he said, "Oh no, your rig is too new to have that happen." Yeah, I'm not sure. Find another neighbor. I'm not sure. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure what to say. I, so yeah, one I mean, thing you told me, Park, that like it'll happen one of these days. I'm on the search for the ultimate RV park. For the ultimate RV park, what is the like? What What are you looking for in the ultimate RV park? One that has like heat around your RV, so you don't have to even turn your like. It's just, it, you pull in like a heated spot, right? And it's it's all heated. You don't have to worry about anything. Oh, that's kind of getting elaborate, but yeah. 
I was thinking like really nice neighbors and really nice rigs and kind of yeah. like the first place I stopped in Florida, but a little more knowledge. But you haven't found that. So since Florida, you have not really been able to find that exactly. Indiana and North Carolina, they were all really cool too. So oh, okay. there were things that, yeah. Indiana I mean, but they weren't always, me. the one in Florida was so fancy. I've been to fancy so RV parks and I've been, I've been to fancy RV parks in Florida. I wonder if it was the same one. By the way, did you say you were in, I think I heard you say you were in, you were in Dunedin. You pronounced it wrong, but I think you said, Dun, I think you said, you, I think I, I took it that it was Dunedin, Florida. That's no, what. I'm not sure how it's said. It's Dunal, it looks like Dunalin or Dunalin to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it might've been Dunedin. That's where I boondocked. Ah, uh, okay. Never again. Never again boondocking in Dunedin or never again boondocking ever? Well, never there. That location, never. But I, I can't say never on boondocking. I'm an RVer. Yeah, yeah. Right. You got to be careful. You got to be careful, rookie. It's, I mean, yeah, there's some, there's some weird places out there for sure. You got you to definitely be careful. And, um, it's not that it was weird. I mean, the lady that ran it was really cool. She was awesome. It's just they needed to clean up the land. Oh, okay. So it didn't destroy the rig. You know what I mean? Kind it's, of. I mean, well, she's obviously not cleaning up the land. She's going to have a broken leg. Right. So uh, I didn't leave her a bad review. I didn't, you know, I didn't do anything like that. It was just. Okay. Maybe next time when people come in with a nice rig, trim your trees. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good idea. I'll tell you, I got an idea. I got a great idea, RV rookie. Ask me a question. Ask me any question. Any question. And I might answer. Any question. Do you have any question for A question from me. If nothing sticks to Teflon, how do you get Teflon to stay in the skillet? <laughs> we'll drink to that. Salute. No, here we go. Come pie. Go ahead. What was your, what was your like? strangest because you've been doing this a lot longer than me a little bit longer i mean i've been doing yeah maybe four years four years three, four, three four years something like that so yeah yeah go ahead i think she's frozen everybody she'll come back though she, her connection is a little iffy and she's gonna she's gonna come back there she is there she is you were frozen That's for a couple so seconds so. you were frozen but now you're back now you're back okay so I didn't hear the question. You got to say the question again. I oh, didn't it. what has been your craziest, craziest comment or something on YouTube? Oh, something like on you. Oh, oh, something on YouTube. Yeah. Oh God, that's a great question. I have to think for a second on that one. Um, like one that really just. Where did that come from? <laughs> Well, I had one guy that was like, every time I did something, he like, um, he made a comment and it all had, it had every, he related everything to the Bible. That wasn't so bad. I mean, it was just really weird. Every time I, every time, like I put a new video out, he would like relate something to the Bible. But, um, I'm trying to think I've had, um, I've definitely had haters comment. I can't remember specific comments, but, um, Especially when my channel was a little bit smaller, I, I, I would see every comment every time. Like, I would never miss a comment. These, these days, I, can't, I just can't, I don't get to every comment. I just don't have the time I, I, as much as I would love to. But um, I would have comments that would be like hurtful and I would, I would, I would take it personally. And I would, say, I would think like, like, and then I'd end up blocking them. But I'm wondering like why somebody has so much time on their hands. They've got to go around to like somebody that's just trying to help our veers. And they make these like really, really like mean spirited comments. And I, I, I wish I could remember some of them, um, but I can't right now. Probably because I just maybe because I'm like Teflon, I just let it slide off me. Maybe right, um, right. Um, but it seems like when I put the word out there, um, troll, if you're looking to troll YouTubers and make stupid comments, I said we don't do that on this channel. I said I just I said it on a few videos. This channel is not the one we do it on, and. Believe it or not, after like a couple of videos, like it stopped happening. Like it's really rare now that I get like a troll, a real troll comment. 
Um, oh, that's cool. I just put the word out there like, hey, don't mess with me. I'm not the one to mess with. Like, go somewhere else, but we don't do that on this channel. And, and, and they left. It was really weird. But I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something weird that also happened. Um, this was also in the earlier days. Um, and it might have been like a year or two ago. But I, um, whenever I put a new video up, I noticed, this is a YouTube talk, guys, so I hope you guys, we're going to let you in kind of like the inner workings of, of, a YouTube, of an RT, RV YouTuber. But um, whenever I put a new video up, I was proud of it. I liked it because I don't put, I try not to put content up that's, that I don't think is good or worthwhile for somebody to watch. Um, but there's somebody, and I don't, I was trying to identify who the person was. There was one person, one individual, as soon as a new video went up, they would always give it the thumbs down, like right away right away and like i always get like immediately they'd be like they must have had notifications on so like whenever i put a new video up it would be a it didn't really matter that much because then i'd get like 500 good 500 good ones so it doesn't really matter but like there was like one person after me and i can never i can never really figure out who that person was weird there's some weird stuff going on in youtube it just it just it just is and i know i've heard it and i'm ready for it i'm just yeah um <laughs> I did a video this past, I think it was like this past fall, and I pretty much said how there are some people out there that are just really, really mean-spirited, and, and they're trolls, and, and um, I had a lot of support from my YouTube subscribers and viewers, and they, they gave me like a lot of positive support. They came back on and made some great comments, but sometimes, it's, you know, it does, you try not to let it bother you, but um, they're, they're just jerks out there that have nothing better to do with their lives, and they they make all kind of weird comments. Now, I'm a guy and I'm not really worried about my safety, but you being a solo woman, now I can totally understand it. You're very smart for like not telling anybody exactly where you are. That's very smart. I wouldn't do it either. How are you? But, um, but as, a, as, a, as a female RVer, what are you, are you, what are you afraid of? Do you fear anything that some, some wacko out there that sees you on YouTube is going to try to do something weird? Because I have seen, I've seen some YouTubers say that. Female, yeah, but the only, the only YouTubers that I've ever seen say anything like that have been like really big channels. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Really big channels. So I don't worry about that. Um, and I've said it before in my videos that I've got cam my dogs are a little high maintenance. Um, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. I love I love I love animals. That's okay. No problem. But I've said in my videos before every inch of this place is covered with cameras. Good. And you know, I'm, I'm not afraid. Good. And we won't, Trust. we won't go into the details, but I, I, I'm imagining you've got some type of, you don't have to acknowledge this or deny it, but I imagine you probably have some type of protection, some type of good protection. So I certainly do, Dave. Good. Well, you're smart. You're smart because um, again, you're out there alone and you, you, there, there are wackos out there. That's the thing. They're, they're idiots there out are. there. There are. So, so, so good. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of big on timing too. It's like, if I'm reviewing an RV park, I'll wait till I left to, yeah. to post the video. Very smart. I saw one, now this is again, this is one of a very large RVer, but she says like she, um, her, her videos are normally like, um, what she say? Like, like four weeks behind, like she doesn't want anybody to have a, even a clue where she is. So she'll, she'll hold, hold off a video for like four weeks until she's like way out of that area. That would, yeah, that would be ideal. I would love to be able to do that. But then it would, my channel would be, I don't know. I, I have trouble with content, I think. I would say then you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have any content for like four weeks. It'd be like a delay of four weeks. Right, right. What is your favorite thing to, um, to YouTube about? Like, what, what, do you, what do you love to, like you get in front of the camera, what do you, what do you, as an RVer, what do you love to talk about? I'm not real sure. I, I I really I mean I I don't really know. I'm so new to it. I mean, I need to start filming more stories as opposed to telling them. I mean, oh. I need to get the camera outside of the rig is my basic point. But it's just like right now it's so tough because yeah, in the area I'm at, there's so many things I want to go out and YouTube. There's so many things I want to film and look at the situation we're in yeah it's a, but people would ultimately when this thing hopefully hopefully it's going to you know not going to be that long hopefully it blows over and the, yeah people would love to see like what's going on outside your rv like what you're doing people would absolutely love to see right. that for sure 
for sure. Right, absolutely. And I mean, like, my grandson and I have, I mean, he's big time, wants to be a YouTuber. And I was like, all right, I'll showcase you, you know, here and there. So him and I got some interviews to do. Fant How old is your grandson? Six. Beautiful. That's fantastic. I've got a six-year-old grandson also. Oh, cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fun age. As a matter of fact, they're, YouTube, they're in like, Florida. Okay. He's, no, he's here in Iowa, but again, look at our circumstances. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, I was going to say, so I was going to suggest something. Um, I found out, and I think it's too early to do it right now because I, I, I've got to look into the, into the logistics of doing this. But um, so I'm recording this for those of you that are out there watching it. And Jen, you, I, I mean, RV rookie, you know this, but, um, but um, people say it all the time in my comments. Okay. Okay, cool. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. No, but you're fine. First, first name is okay. Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh yeah. So, but um, so just to let everybody know that's watching this, we're doing this via zoom video, by the way, zoom video, you probably, it, it's gotten so popular now, even if you're not a YouTuber, it's gotten super, super popular because everybody is like, meeting their friends and holiday, you know, right now as we're recording this, it is Easter weekend. So a lot of people are having get togethers via Zoom because we can't go anywhere. But I also found out, um, RV Rookie, that we can, then next time we do this, we should probably look, I'll look into it since I'm running the, running the Zoom here. Um, I, can, I can live stream it to, to YouTube as well. So we can, we can actually have it live, going live and people can be watch, live. watching us in real time. Yes. And I'd say anything goes. Yes, ask us whatever. Yeah, now I think though, the pro, yeah, they'll be able to type in, we won't be able to see them. I could do it, there is a way to do it, do it as like There's a webinar. There's a way to do it where you can see what they type in, oh, or yeah, yeah. ask on your, on your Facebook page, is there anything you wanna know? We're going yeah, they live. Can, or they, can definitely, they can definitely type it in through YouTube for sure. I've done a lot of live YouTube. I haven't done many lately, but I've done That's a lot of I live That's live what I streams. thought. Yeah. Done, um, I don't have enough subscribers to go live. Yeah, you, yeah you, but you will soon. I think you like will. Four people. But you will really, I think you will really soon. I swear, I, you're, you're going to grow fast. I, you're, it's going to be no problem. And then that would we, be awesome, Dave. I think it will. But um, well, we can do a live stream. We can actually, yeah, we can have people four questions to us in real time and we can answer them. That'd be really you great. Are. The RV idiot Q and A. <laughs> Everybody be light enough to ask us crap, Dave. Yeah, well, we will just, we'll field any question we can. You can, anything's fair <laughs> game. You can ask anything you want. Absolutely. By the way, I got this shirt a little while ago. Do you, do you like it? It's it's a mirror. It's I think it's on. You can only see the mirror the mirror image, right? What are you well, that's what I want to see. Let me let me see if I can turn this around. Give me one second. Give me one second, RV rookie. Hang on, I'm going to try this. I think I can do this. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Hold on. Hold on. Um. Come on, let's see this. Let's see. Okay. Can Thanks. you see? <laughs> hold on. Okay, can you see that now? I am blind. What's it say? Be nice? <laughs> well, no, see, here's the thing. This is why I really love, I saw this as a bumper sticker somewhere on a shirt. It says, so this is the state of Utah right here. It's, it's, so it's, it's be Utah full. Be Utah full. Be Utah full. Oh. Isn't that cool, though? That's great. Isn't that cool? So what, is your, what does your shirt That's say? Cool. Your shirt's cold. Kaloa Surf Company. Oh, I like it. My surfer clothes. <laughs> Are you a surfer or were you a surfer at any time? Are I you was. A, I was. Surfer? Wow. In I've, Florida. I've tried that. It's, let's just say, let's say it didn't go all that well. Let's just say that. Stamina. It might be more, I don't know, coordination or being afraid of it. I don't know. It tore me up. <laughs> <laughs> tore me up. Don't Tori. start surfing after 40. Don't. Just don't. Oh, oh I've still got a couple of years then. I, I was doing it. No, I started probably in my late 30s. Because, I mean, I'm from up north. So. Wait, where are you from originally? Chicago. Oh, okay. I think you did tell me that. Okay. So, wait a minute. 
that you started, you started and you started surfing in your, um, at, what, just before 40, 38 or so? Yes, when I first moved down to Florida. Okay. To, yeah. It was St. Augustine, Jacksonville. Okay, so that's where my, that's where my daughter, son-in-law, and, and grandkids live, right there. Um, Jacksonville. St. Augustine is a beautiful Jacksonville. place. They're in Jacksonville. Jacksonville's awesome, too. It's a nice place. Yeah, I want to get back down. I did a video visit. that was filmed in Jacksonville at Flamingo Lake. That was a cool park. Oh, that was a really cool park. Okay, because um, I've stayed in an RV park in Jacksonville, but I can't, oh, God, I can't remember what it's, it's called. It's probably Flamingo Lake because they're the most um, popular. But when I was there, they had a chili cook-off. And a car show. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something, RV rookie? This was no, there was, there was no lake anywhere near this RV park. Oh. It, was, it was like right off a highway. It was not, not a highway. It was also like a, um, like a, it, there was no, there was no lake. There was nothing even oh, looked like this a lake. One, this one was gorgeous. It was nice. It was one of the really nice ones. It was very, very uh, pricey though. Okay. I think what we did when we stayed there, I think we wanted to stay somewhere like reasonably close to our kids. So, um, that's why we say this. We weren't we weren't really staying there for like the view, but it was more like um, access to our, to our, to do stuff with our kids. That's what it was. Right, right. But I'm I just sure went that... there because my surf coach and his fiance normally camp there. They have a tiny camper. It's really cute. I did a tour of it on one of my other videos. But uh, I just right. went there because of them, and it was like it was a cute little place. Uh, well, next time we're there, I'm gonna I'll, I'll I'll definitely look for that place seriously. Oh, absolutely. Definitely, definitely. Um, I'll tell you something. I'm going to run in a couple seconds. Um, any last minute parting words of wisdom, thoughts? Uh, Enjoy your quarantine. <laughs> you, so, you, wait, you're a singer also. Let me hear you sing something. I said, enjoy your quarantine. I thought you were singing it. Like, like enjoy your Kinda, quarantine. Kind of. But nobody wants to hear that again, Dave. <laughs> By the way, I, I prefer I the, I, the mountain show. I prefer that you call me RV dummy. I don't go by Dave anymore. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Then cut that out. <laughs> clip it. Clip, clip, clip. clip. Um, I, I'll tell you something. I hope we get a lot of people that like the conversations between me and you. I think we will. Um, and if we do, I think I know we will. Let's let's plan. Let's definitely plan on a live stream on YouTube. A, yes, a, a, I watch now. Yeah, I mean, within within a short amount of time. Within, I'm sorry. If that's what the viewers want, we have to do what the viewers want, right? Come we got to <laughs> we got to give them what they want. By the way, this will be a good time to one more time tell everybody how to find you. Where did where do they go to find? Where do they find your I'm channel? Harvey Rookie on YouTube. Okay, Maui. I will make it a point. Harvey also. Rookie on YouTube, and just if, again, I'll say it. You got to scroll all past the Chinese dancers, and then you'll find me. I, by the way, I saw, I saw what you're talking about. I didn't know, but yeah, when you type in, what is, in that? Dave, I don't, what is I, that? I don't know, but um, I typed in, I tried to get your, you know, your, your link so I could put it on in my comments because I promised people that I would do that and I did do that. But in order to find it, I typed in RV rookie and then you get all, yeah, all these Chinese dancers. I didn't, I could not figure it out. I didn't know what was going on. It's hilarious, actually. I don't know why Every they. Every time I want to plug my channel, I'm plugging them. Well, the funniest thing is you always have to say, scroll down past all the Chinese dancers, then you'll find me. <laughs> Come on, YouTube. That is real. I, that's I don't know. It's crazy. Maybe, maybe when you like you put more videos out and have more subscribers, maybe YouTube will look at you as like higher than them or something, and you'll come in higher. Or 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 um. Those are Chinese dancers. I don't know if I could compete with that. Or RV Rookie, what you could do, RV Rookie, you can get a, um, you can get a, a, a um, what do you call it, a personalized URL, you know, you can do that. Now you might need, you might need a certain number of subscribers. I'm not sure. But like, in other words, I'm like youtube.com slash, it's like slash C slash um, the RV dummy. So it's easier to tell people to do that. But, um, but you might want to look into it if you, if you, if you, if you can, but again, you might need... You might need a certain number of subs. I'm not sure. I don't remember that part. Otherwise, we'll just say, plug in RV Rookie, scroll past all the Chinese dancers. They're all dancing and they're all Chinese. And then go find RV Rookie. Cool. Good stuff. Um, hey, this was fun. We will definitely, 
definitely Absolutely. do it. We're, we're going to have like a little playlist. If you want to watch, like the people will be able to binge on the whole series. Yes, absolutely. So no we got to shoot again soon. Say it again. I, you were, you were, you didn't I come. Said we have to shoot again soon. Oh, that's, there's no question about it. It's a given. I mean, I don't have a whole lot going on today, Dave. Are you suggesting we like take Tomorrow. a break? And, wait, are you suggesting we take a break and do it like in a half an hour? <laughs> We will, um, it's po tomorrow's a possibility. We so, have time to collect questions. Well, but they're going to come in live. They're going to come in live when, when you're, when you're oh, live. Oh, that's streaming. right. That's how okay. Let so, me know. I, I, well, let's stay in touch offline and we'll, we'll figure that out for sure. In the meantime, RV Rookie, thank you so much. This was, it's always, you always fun much. chatting with you. Oh, always no. fun. Always fun. Rock on. Thank <laughs> you. Talk to you later. See you. All right. Have a good night. Same.